Hey guys, welcome back. So we're at the tail end of Battle in Egypt, Stardust Crusaders. Jojo has been an amazing journey and I can't believe I'm here in a relatively quick time. I know it's been a long time in reality, but uh, it really feels like I've gone through this show so fast. The last couple of days I've had a real opportunity to binge a lot of episodes and now I've only got four to go. Please forgive the voice. I don't know what's wrong. I'm just a bit husky. It happens to me every now and then. I haven't got the coronavirus, I promise. I've been self-isolating like a, a good citizen. I'm not going outside unless it's absolutely necessary. So to all of you who are isolated and stuck at home and you're bored and going crazy, I'm hoping my JoJo reactions are helping you a little bit. To those of us who are very social and like to get out there and do stuff, I get it, man. This can be really upsetting and horrible to be stuck at home and just not being able to go outside. But me... I'm good. I got my Jojo. You've got your Jojo. We're okay. So, how about we dive into the next episode? We just watched the Miasma of the Void trilogy, and we lost Diggy and Abdul. Dead. Like, properly dead. And shit. Not happy. So, we're about to dive into the Dio's World trilogy. So, part one, part two, part three coming up. And we ended that last episode with Polnareff meeting Dio for the first time. So there's going to be a battle, and I imagine that shit is going to be freaking phenomenal from here on out. Like, it's been phenomenal up to this point, yeah, but we're going to be ramping some shit up right now. This is going to be intense. So how about we just get into it, yeah, because I'm excited. This is going to be cool. I've been waiting for Dio to come back since the beginning, and when I heard that he was in Stardust Crusaders, I was like, yeah, because he's an amazing villain, and we need more vampires in our Jojo, right? I missed the stone mask and stuff. That was so cool. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, crap. Here we go. The man. <laughs> We've got an eye. He's still got the three moles on his ear. Dio. <laughs> oh shit, he's coughing up blood. He's all fucked up. Soon, he's not well. Oh, no. God damn it. He's coming up. Oh, you went down? What? Dio's fucking with him. Dio. <laughs> the mental fighting is just so good. Just the psychological warfare. <laughs> the world. The world -o. What is it? What is it? What is it? Dio's back. Polnareff is in no no shape to fight. He's lost a chunk of his thigh. He's lost some toes. He just lost his friends. Right, right in front of him. 
He's gone through a massive battle, and now he's going to take on the king. <laughs> he's, this, um, no, I'm worried. So, like I said, previous reaction, I wouldn't be surprised if Dio starts turning some of the crew into vampires. Some of the crew, there's four left. Dio's World Part 1. We're here. I like my mug. It's a good mug. The D the the D the D B mug. <laughs> Can't even say my own name. Is getting a, a decent clean. Needs it. It's in the wash. Okay. Oh, let's go. He won't join up willingly. <laughs> the world. Shit, there he is. The world stands. <laughs> ah, sick. <laughs> He can manipulate reality. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, it's not a good time to fight a vampire. Oh, that's right, they got the little little vampire guy. Oh, he's given up the goss.
Oh, shit. Dio's coffin. Yeah, you up, you up in a man. Yeah, you. Oh, he's dead, mate. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. What? Huh? Ow. Dio is fucking with reality. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Oh shit. Oh my god, they were falling to their death. I love the conversations they have falling. <laughs> A nice girl up your ass. I was going to say, that wouldn't be cool. It'd be very cool. How did they do that? Because they're awesome, that's why. Sun's going down, DJ's going to come out and play. It's extremely bad. <laughs> I need that hat. What does it do? F fuck you up. GG. Oh, 
Ah, oh, pincer attack. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Sell it to me now. <laughs> He's rich. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, I've missed him so much. He's so cool. He's doing the classic Dio poses. And I love how he's like still super big. Like Jonathan was massive. It's so good that they're carrying that on. Good grief. But is it though? Is it JoJo? Dio's um, really messing things up with the the warping of reality. Ah, oh. <laughs> he's here. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, you're seeing his face now. He's changed his hair. Yeah, you did. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> You just pulled a tooth out of your head. <laughs> okay. You're about to die. <laughs> Oh. You can't get out. <laughs> oh. Drive. He's like, why? This is very interesting. Do you stand it? Yeah, Jonathan. Alright, so this is Jotaro with Paldorf. I was running if it was like a trick.
Oh my god. Oh no. I had to run a bunch of people over. Floor it. Oh. Shit. They didn't show the carnage. Oh. A lot of blood. No, you're dead. No. <laughs> so he's got to be close to use the wild. Oh my god. He just throws them back at you like bullets. Oh. A stand can kill a stand. Luckily. Yeah, shut up and drive. Bleeding from the eyes, man. But Dio knows where a Joe Star is. Here come the credits. Oh shit. <laughs> he threw the driver. Poor Senator. Here comes Dio. The man can strut. <laughs> oh no. They're out. They got away. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's a different part of the song. I've never heard this part before. No, I haven't heard the song in its entirety. Woo!
We're in for a battle royale, guys. Ooh, boy. Okay, Dio's world. His world being the stand. He's back, and he's no longer in shadow. He is out about, and he's loud and proud. He's going to kick some ass. So I like how we kind of learn a bit about his, his stand. So much like Star Platinum, he's a close range attack. And that's going to be their trick. So like Hakuin said, they need to be able to sneak up on Dio so he doesn't know that they're there. And then use their attack power. So that, so that means that Joseph and Jotaro can't do that because Dio can sense when they're close because of Jonathan's body. So it's going to have to be those two guys and they're both going to get killed. Oh my god, there's going to be so much carnage and mayhem in the next couple episodes. I can't wait. I'm going to do them all today. I'm doing a bit of a binge because um, you know, it's isolation day. Oh isolation month I think my wife's working from home she, she's out there doing her thing right now so hopefully you can't hear her on the mic she's having a phone conversation so in the Phantom Blood Jonathan and Dio were overly huge like they're, they're massive guys and now that Dio has stolen Jonathan's body and put his head on top I love that Dio is now one of the biggest guys in the universe because they kind of had because they're kind of straight away from that oversized muscle bound kind of type in the new season even in battle tendency no one was as big so it's, it's kind of cool to have Dio back and like I said he just knows how to strut he's very charismatic he's a great villain and, and I've missed him having him back now is going to be so freaking awesome yeah man I'm going to dive in so I'll catch you all in the next one thanks for watching